I have engaged with the cloud of witnesses as they're known. Um, Hebrews 12 talks about uh, the spirits of the righteous made perfect, cloud of witnesses surrounding us. Um, those that are believers who have passed on into death and are on the other side um, are still continuing with their destiny and their function and therefore they do have assignments and sometimes they engage us and sometimes they have a purpose for god to do that um there's the court of the upright where they sort of hang out and where there's there's things going on in regards to their ongoing destiny in terms of the purposes of god um i met jacob the first time i went into heaven he showed me about um, the story about Jacob's ladder and the ladder going from earth to heaven and that being a, a gateway to heaven, um, that type of thing. And it was very helpful. Um, each time I've engaged with them, there's been something significant. It's not that I go and seek them out that very often uh, unless I feel there's a reason to. Um, I have engaged. Esther came into one of our meetings. I saw her, spoke to her and then went to follow up why she came. Uh, to help us understand that we were called for a time such as this and um, and that a lot of people don't uh, reject their destiny because they don't believe um, that it's possible or they don't believe they can do it. So there was a lot of helpful things. You know, David, um, I've met Joshua and, and, and Daniel and um, lots of lots of them. Um, but I, I wouldn't say that it's my focus and I, I want to engage God more than anything else. And if God directs me towards one, then I will engage. Um, how do you engage? Well, I just go to the core of upright and engage or um, they come and seek me out. Um, there are times when the cloud of witnesses have engaged me and then I've pursued that engagement. Um, so I, I wouldn't um, I wouldn't make it my focus. Um, it's something that does happen and their testimony and some of their experience can be very helpful to us. Um, but most of the time I just want to spend in the presence of the father and let him mentor me and disciple to disciple me into sonship and um, that's my focus in terms of dreams I I really don't have dreams like that God has doesn't communicate to me with dreams so I've, I never really have taught about dreams per, because I don't have personal experience of it um God has always, you know, found a way of communicating with me. And when I learned to hear his voice and talk to him face to face, that's the way we talked. So I journal my uh, times with him. Um, you know, I used to interpret dreams for people, but I no longer do so because um, I feel people need to find what the dream is from God. So I'd encourage you to go back to God um, if you have a dream and ask him, what did he mean by it? If he's giving you communication in a dream, you don't understand it, then it seems to be a bit pointless unless it, it causes you to desire to go back and seek him for revelation of the truth in regards to what that dream means. Um, now, sometimes dreams are just a general purpose. Sometimes they might be allegorical in that they have uh, lots of symbolism in them regarding things that are going on in our lives. Um, but again, it's the relationship direct face to face heart to heart with god that he really wants and he wants us to develop that so that he doesn't necessarily have to speak to us in dreams he can speak to us directly and that's why we can learn to hear his voice discern his voice hear the sound of many waters which is the sound of his voice resonate with his voice you know, begin to engage with his heart and know his intentions and jesus only did what he saw the father doing and that's my desire is to only do what i see the father doing so i pursue face-to-face -face relationship with the father to discern the father's heart and then outwork the father's heart from that place um but it's a level of intimacy and relationship which doesn't need a mediator uh, in the way and i would say the danger with being able to engage angels the cloud of witnesses and other things is that we can pursue them out of curiosity rather than pursuing god and the father and allowing the father to open that realm if he wants to you know, I don't engage that realm unless I really feel directed to by the father or the father has sent one of the cloud of witnesses to me. And that's part of the, the journey that I've been on with. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.